Hey guys, so before this video starts, I just want to say one more quick thing. Um, sorry that like you guys can't see the full screen. Um, I, I recorded a little bit too small, so I had to zoom in, and some of the uh, stuff on the side got cut off. Um, so when I pop up the stock that you guys are gonna see in later, you will not be able to see the prices of it because it got cut off. I'll make sure to fix that for next video. Sorry, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with a new video. Um, this is my second video. Um, I know the first video was me trading live. Um, I tried to do that again because um, it was lower quality. I tried to do it with better quality, but my computer just keeps on lagging a lot. Um, I can't record and trade at the same time. Unfortunately, I tried it with a different device, also not working. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like uh, recap videos, um, but that's in the future. It's, I'm probably gonna do like once a week, but I'm also gonna be doing a lot of um, like teaching you guys how to trade options. Um, I get a lot of messages on Twitter daily and it's getting to a point where it's too many where i don't even have time to reply to everybody or i can't like answer everyone in depth because a lot of it is also like a lot of repetition so i'm gonna be doing this video these videos um i don't know maybe once or twice a week i still haven't decided exactly what i'm gonna do but i'll definitely be doing at least once a week um so today i'm gonna be talking about one of the most um common questions i get asked is how do i um how do I read AJ's notes and how do I um, analyze them? Like, how do I know when to buy and stuff like that? Um, so let's first get to, let's, so before I even get into it, um, if you guys don't know, um, I'm in a, I'm in like a room, like a chat room. Um, it's called awesomecallstrading.com. And um, uh it's like there's the main person there's aj and he does live trading you know he has these notes i'm gonna explain so pretty much before mark even market even opens pre-game plan this is from friday pretty much he gives us like around between 12 13 maybe a few more so um tickers and he tells exactly how to play it and this is before before market even opens so you know how to play every like these stocks before market even opens and most of the time it's accurate um so if you are interested in this uh chat room um the link is going to be in the description box below um pretty much what i see or what everybody's anybody everybody sees in the group chat is exactly this so like the notes look exactly like this you just get this before market market even opens and you know exactly what to do so for example i'll be going over roku today um because that's what i played on friday but before i get into that i'm going to answer the question how do i um choose what stocks i'm going to be looking at even though it's only 13 stocks, um, you can't really be looking at all 13 stocks. Um, so how do I look? Is I actually start looking at each, uh, looking at notes from the bottom, not from the top, but from the bottom. Why do I do that? Well, because in the very top, um, most of these tickers are like uh, penny stocks, and they either a don't have any options or b the options are very bad on them. Um, let me actually mute, mute this. Um, so for example, TR, TLRY does not even have options, this does not have options, this doesn't have the best options, so I look from the bottom. So for example, well, APVO also, uh, it's either doesn't have options or horrible options. So STMP um, has, you know, it's 253, so it's high up there, it should have options. So what I do is I go on to, I trade on Webull, this is Webull, <clears throat> but you could do this on any platform that has options. So I go STMP, um, and then I look at the options. So options are right here. And what I do is I look at the volume and open interest. The open interest right now, there's nothing because a market closed. Um, but the open interest, I like it to be above 1,000. For volume, I like it to be around five, over 500 at least. Um, as you can see, the volume on here is pretty bad. You know, 30, 36, 13, 1, 54. It's not worth it's not worth it to trade it. Like maybe the two thirties, maybe just maybe if I'm very desperate, but I wouldn't really trade these. Um, <clears throat> so then going up, Zoom, Zoom I know has awesome, uh, awesome options because I trade. Um, I don't trade Zoom a lot, but I look after Zoom a lot. Um, so we're going to Zoom, going to the options. Um, as you can see, the volume uh, again, open interest is low because market just closed. Um, actually, an hour already closed, but volume. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, these are awesome. So like if I was, if I would be getting op uh, calls for a Zoom, I would be getting like the two, 420s or like the 430s, something like in here, you know, I need something above 500 in volume and you know, two, 3,000 is amazing. Over a thousand is amazing in um, 
for volume and options. Um, so that's what I look at. So I go through each one, like most of them. Most of them I already know because I trade them from experience. So I know what the options are, look like. So I kind of know it, but like if you're a beginner, you should be looking at like the, op the volume and the open interest to determine if you want to trade it for options or not. So next, um, so that's how I choose what will be, um, you know, what will be on my watch list. What I also do um, after I have my six or whatever stocks on my watch list, I look at the news. So um, the, the, the news here doesn't isn't like exact. So for example, Roku um, earnings beat multiple upgrades. So you know there was an upgrade to it, but you don't know exactly what it was. So what I go, I go to the fly on the wall. It's a, it's a subscription based service where you get news. It's only about like 35 bucks a month. It's not too bad. Um, and then, so let's go to Roku. Um, and this was today. The stuff is I traded on Friday. So I, as we can see on Friday, price raised, price raised, price raised, and you know Oppenheimer. And then there was um, uh, Wells Fargo 275, uh, 275 from 215. So you know it's pretty good. So it's an earnings. So. Um, before market even opens, um, I have all my um, price targets already here. So all these five red lines, these were all put before market opens. Every single one. I didn't put these after the market. You know, I didn't put these just looking at the chart right now. I put these before the market open, and um, I put these all from these notes. And as I said, all these notes are before the market even open. Gap uh, stock is gapping up ten points. Do not long unless open uh, unless open to two thirty seven. What does this mean? Unless the stock hits two thirty seven, then you could take it up to two forty and then two forty two, and that's exactly what it says right here. Open to two forty two forty two. I, I just said it. I said the, I looked at the chart because I already had it all written down. I had it all annotated. And then it says after it hits two forty two forty two, watch for the topping and for it to go down five to seven points. Um, profit taking. If this snaps at the open, do not see more than 230, 232. What does this mean? He does not see the stock going any lower than 230, 232. And then for a bottom curl. And what did the stock do? Exactly at 230, um, it had a bottom curl. And that's when I played it. So I played it a little bit on here. Um, I played a little bit here. And then I played it a little bit more here. I personally played it. And that's it. You know, you just play the bottom curl. He says exactly at 230. You know, after you see hit 230, you see some green, go in, it's going to go up. You know, have your stops and all that. Um, so that's how I go in. Um, pretty much I buy and sell within minutes, if not seconds. So pretty much I have close stops. And then if I get stopped out, I just, you know, I move on to the next trade or I wait for it to do make another move. Uh, but imagine you going into the 230 and keeping it until here. You know, just selling it anywhere here, you would have made bank, you know, options or equity, you would have made a lot of money. What is it, 230 all the way to 250? That's a 20 point move, at least a 20 point move. And that's a lot um, in options. You know, I made 4,000 just from like one one little candle. I had pretty big size, but like still, from one candle, I made 4,000. Imagine what you could have made from going 20 points. This is only what? This was only like two to three points. This is a whole 20 point move. Um, and um, so Roku, this is kind of one of the more simpler trades. Um, but again, if you have around six, there will there will be at least one of that. There's a simple setup, you know, like this, a bottom curl, and then take it up. You know, you could have played the bottom curl here, taking it up, got stopped by loss, you've still made profit, and then done it again, even though it would have been a little bit riskier. I would have had to see a little bit more move. But I mean, you could have played it either or. Um, so yeah, so pretty much... Um, you look at here so when the market just opened i see that it didn't cross the 237 so i gotta wait you know it went down i saw the bottom curl and then just took it back up it's that easy and this is all on awesome calls trading and again i'm not i don't work for aj aj is the main person in awesome calls trading i do not work for him i do not get paid from awesome calls trading i just get a little um a little fee if you use my link that will be in the description box below um it's very little but uh, yeah, I don't get paid, so I don't get paid for saying this. I just really, really, really like the service, and uh, the only reason I'm recommending it is because um, I enjoy it so much. I recommend it to everybody, anyone who wants to do day trading, do it. He even they they even have some swing trading and all that. 
but that, I'm not trying to promote this or anything. I'm just trying to teach you how I play options with um, AJ's notes. So um, this video is pretty quick, simple. I just wanted to get one of the biggest questions I usually get asked is how do you um, how do you decide what stocks you want to choose? Um, so I, cho I decide what stocks I want to choose. First of all, they have to have options. Second of all, they have to have good volume and open interest for the options because if they don't have it, then it's not worth trading. You're just going to get totally you know you're just gonna destroy your uh portfolio um and then pretty much the roku was a pretty simple trade um not too hard but again that's how i traded it went in um and i had my stops out uh, stops very close so that's why i got out and um so i will be going over in the future videos more like more complicated um trades from aj's notes uh, but again, if you have around six, at least one a day should hit into like, you know, something simple or close to simple like this. You know, this is not the simplest. If it was simple, it would have crossed this and then went here. This is, pre but this is again, pretty close to simple. It did exactly what AJ said, hit this and went all the way up. Made the bottom curl exactly where he said. And this was again, and as I keep on saying this, because not a lot of people believe me, he said this before market even opened. So you would have had this line here before it happened and you would have seen the move and you would have been in it and you would have made money. You know, equity side or option side. So yeah, guys, um, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, my Twitter, uh, on my Twitter, I post my plays every single day. I po post how much I made on each play. I post it. I most ninety percent of the time, I post even my entry and my exit, so you guys see. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you you know use the if you want to if you want to join Act, um, awesome calls trading. Use the link in my description. Um, and if you have any questions or f uh, recommendations for future videos, put it in the description box. I'll look at it and I'll hopefully do it. All right, guys. So see you in the next video. Peace.